Hi, welcome back to our learning of video game art again. Today, I would like to share with you the workflow for baking an object-based normal map. As I have said before, it is always expensive and simply not practical for any real-time rendering applications such as our video games to have an ultra-dense polygonal asset like what I have shown over here. In practice, we could use a simplified geometry and couple with bump mapping technique for mimicking the high-density object. In all the variants of bump mapping technique that I have shared before, the object space normal map would allow us to have a much better approximation for representing a complex model. To do so, you will need to instruct your 3D application to output a surface normal of the high-res object as bitmap data. And here is a demonstration to the baking process. First, do organize the high-res and low-res model into separate layers. Next, with a low resolution model in selections, and activate the transform maps function via the lighting and shading menu. By default, the firstly selected object will automatically be tagged and identified as the target. Next, we will need to include the high resolution model as a source. Simply right mouse button click on the layer of the high res model and choose to select the objects from here. Then, at the Transfer Maps menu, just click on the Add Selected button. Next, make sure you have set the output maps to normal. And should you have any previous output settings for the other type of maps, you might want to consider to remove them. OK, next, you might want to specify where you want to output your object space normal map. And for a demonstration purpose, I will set the file path to a test folder while defining the file name in the same period of time. Next, I will set a file type to Targa. And please don't forget to change the map space from tangent to object space. Do leave the Maya common settings being checked on. And in its following comments output segment, you can specify the required pixel resolutions for your project. As for the sampling quality, do set it to hide and leave the remaining setting as it is. Alright, everything is in place. Just click on the Bake and Close button. The baking process might take a while to be completed as it is all dependent on the complexity of your source mesh and the initial sampling quality that you have set. The actual baking process should be much faster than these demonstrations if there isn't a screen recording software running on top of this. OK, we are almost done. Next, we are going to assign the object space normal map onto this low res model. But beforehand, please make sure you have unwrapped the UV of the low resolution model before you begin the baking process. And as a short demo, I'm going to use the blend shader. In the bump node, Please remember to set it to use object space normal. And with the normal map nicely loaded, let's just set the viewport rendering mode to high quality while the texture mode is on. And we are done. Thank you.